1번 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Good afternoon. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking to buy some body lotion. Okay, our body lotions are right over here. We have these two kinds, a regular one and a herbal one. How much are they? The regular one is $15 and the herbal one is $25. The herbal one has special ingredients that are good for sensitive skin. I see. I have pretty sensitive skin. I'll take a bottle of the herbal one. All right. If you buy two bottles, you get a 10% discount. Great. Then I'll take two. Okay. Do you need anything else? Yes. I need some shower washcloths. Those are right over here. They come in packs of three for $10. Okay. I'll take one pack. All right. Is that all? Yes. Here's my credit card. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to Jessica's Craft Shop. May I help you? Yes. Do you sell glass flowers? Yes. They actually come in sets. Great. Can you show me them? Sure. Right this way. Here are our tulip sets. Wow. They're really cool. How much are they? The blue set is $20 and the red one is $10. I like the blue set. I'll take three of them. And what about those roses? Are they the same price? No. A set of the small size roses is $10 and a set of the large size ones is $15. I'll take four sets of the small size ones. Oh, and just in case you didn't know, we're having a sale this week, so you get 10% off the total price. Great! You're buying three blue tulip sets and four small rose sets, right? Yes. Here's my credit card. 3번 대화를 듣고 남자가 토요일 오후에 농구 경기를 보러 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Michael, I was at the soccer game yesterday. You guys played great. Thanks. I felt like our defense saved us. Yeah, your team had more time to train than before. Yeah, I think it paid off. Great. How are you feeling? You had to come out of the game for a while. I just twisted my ankle. It's sore, but I'm okay. That's good. By the way, there's the basketball final game on Saturday. Would you like to go watch it? Yeah, but I'm sure it's hard to get tickets. I have two tickets I bought a couple of weeks ago. How about going with me? Oh, but wait. Is it an afternoon game? Yeah. Do you have other plans? Actually, yes. I have to help my uncle move this Saturday afternoon. I see. We can go together another time. Sure, we will. 4번 대화를 듣고 여자가 파티에 참석하지 못하는 이유를 고르시오. Hi, Lauren. What's up? Hi, Ben. I'm sorry to tell you, but I can't go to the potluck party tomorrow. Why not? Do you have other plans? No, I'm just going to stay home. Wait a minute. Is it because David's going to be there? I heard you two had an argument. That's not it. We talked on the phone this morning and made up. Well, that's good. Are you not coming because you haven't made any food to bring? If you haven't, it's okay. Just come anyway. Actually, I've already bought some ingredients to make potato salad. Really? Then why can't you come? Well, I have an eye disease. The doctor says I need to stay home. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. I should stay home to take some rest. Okay. I hope you get better soon. 5번 대화를 듣고 빅워터 페스티벌에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Honey, look at this poster for the Big Water Festival. Let me see. Wow, it's an event where people throw buckets of water at each other. Sounds fun. I wonder how many people join. 
It says that more than a thousand participants are expected to come. Whoa! Why don't we go together with the kids? All right. Let's look at the details. When is it? It says here that it is on May 28th. That's this Saturday. Perfect. And where does it take place? In the soccer stadium in East Side Park. That's not that far from our house. We can take the subway. Is there anything we need to bring for the event? Here it says to just bring a raincoat. That seems right, since we're going to throw water at each other. Sounds exciting. 6. 대화를 듣고 페이퍼 아트 뮤지엄에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Have you been to the paper art museum? No, I haven't. Is that the museum across from Central Station downtown? Yes, it is. I was thinking we should go there sometime. Okay. Is it open every day? Every day except Monday. It opens from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. How about going this Saturday? Sounds good to me. What type of events or programs do they have? Right now, they're having a program called Traditional Korean Paper Making. Really? That sounds interesting. Yeah. They also have a permanent exhibition with paper craft artifacts and artworks. That'd be cool to see. How much is the admission fee? It's free. Isn't it great? Yeah, it sure is. 7번 애플트리 하우스 클럽에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeremy Parker, the president of the Student Council. Today, I'd like to inform you about a fun volunteering opportunity. It's with the Apple Tree House Club, which is a group of volunteers who help maintain the historic gardens at Apple Tree House. They're looking for new members to work with them now. Their club members volunteer for about six hours once a month on various gardening activities. This year's first volunteer day is Saturday, March 19th. Volunteers are provided with all the gardening tools, but not lunch. So, they need to bring their own lunch, or they can buy food at the Apple Tree House Cafe. To join the Apple Tree House Club, you have to apply online. Please check their website for more information. Thank you. 8번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 주문할 목욕 가운을 고르시오. Honey, I think we should buy a new bathrobe for Amy. She's outgrown her current one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's check online. Okay, I'll open up the site where we often shop for Amy's clothes. Here, I found these bathrobes. Let's see. Oh, I like this one, but it's the most expensive. It's a little too much money, I think. I agree. Let's choose one of the others, then. They're all nice. Yeah. What size? We should get her a size 8. Then that eliminates this one. And I think she'd like having pockets. Yeah, so let's get her one of these two. The white one is nice. What do you think? I like it too, but I don't think Amy would like it that much. The other one would be better. All right. Let's order this bathrobe then. 9번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 보러 갈 연극을 고르시오. Hi, Sophia. Check this out. Hi, George. Cool. The 2022 International Play Festival schedule. We were talking about seeing a play this year. Yeah, let's do it. Which one would you like to see? What about The Secret Garden? That's in French, though. Oops, I didn't see that. We can't see that, then. Any of the rest will be okay. They're in English or Spanish. How about going to one on Saturday? All right, let's go on Saturday. That eliminates this one, then. Yeah. Hmm, this place sounds interesting. It does sound interesting, but I think 150 minutes is too long. Yeah, you're right. 
Now we're down to these two choices. How about this one at the Main Street Theater? Well, it's quite far from here. How about going to this theater instead? Okay, let's go there. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, this is Bob's Camera Shop. Hi, this is Clara Patterson. I'm calling to see if I can pick up my camera today. Let me check. Yes, I finished repairing your camera. It's ready to go. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Linda, where are you heading? I'm going to make copies of the handout for the meeting. I need to get it done now because the meeting is right after lunch. Oh, I completely forgot about the meeting. Where did you say it was? 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, Mike. Wow, you're up really early. What's the occasion? Good morning, Mom. I wanted to get up early to practice the presentation I have to give in class today. Good idea. Even though you're up early, you seem really fresh and energetic. 3번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Matilda. You look different, but I can't tell what it is. It's probably my glasses. I got a new pair last weekend. Oh, right. But you just got new glasses a few months ago. Did you lose them? 4번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Jack, can you tell me where Star Theater is? Sure. It's on Maple Street. You can go there by subway. Do you want to watch a movie? Yes. I plan on watching a movie downtown that ends around 11 tonight. Can I catch the subway back here at that time? 5번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Oh my goodness, my laptop just froze up. There must be something wrong with it. Have you saved your data by any chance? No, I haven't. I've been working a lot, but I may have to redo it. 6번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. David, I'm all set. Are you ready to go to Emma's wedding? Yeah, I'm all dressed up. Honey, how do I look now? Wow, you look amazing. Wait a minute. Look, there's a small hole in your left sock. 7번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, we've been using the heater so much this winter. Yes, I'm worried our electricity bill will be really high. Me too. We will have to repair our broken fireplace before next winter comes. 8번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Oliver, dinner was delicious. I had no idea you were such a good cook. I'm glad you liked it. I've been learning how to cook from my dad recently. He's a chef at a hotel restaurant. That's so cool. I wonder how I can learn to cook like you. 9번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Lydia, look at this flyer. Robin Franklin is going to be signing his new book at the library downtown. Really? He's my favorite author. I love his new book. When is it? Next Saturday at 2 p.m. Would you like to go together? 10번 
대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, look how hard it's snowing outside. Oh no. If it doesn't stop soon, we won't be able to back the car out of the garage. It's already starting to pile up. We should go and shovel now before much more snow falls. 11번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Susan. I heard that you're going to be the new manager in the marketing department. Congratulations. Hi, Paul. I never expected I'd be promoted to manager. I'm not surprised. Everybody thinks you really deserve it. 12번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, let's get out and do something fun. I was thinking we could go see the musical Song for Lovers. Good idea. But do you think tickets are still available? We'll never know if we don't look into it. Let's check. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Front desk. How may I help you? I'm in room 201. I specifically booked a non-smoking room, but I smell cigarette smoke in my room. We're sorry about that. Let me check that for you. You're Wendy Parker, right? Yes, that's correct. Hmm. The record says we assigned you a non-smoking room. Then why do I smell cigarette smoke here? Well, since your room is close to the ground level, cigarette smoke must have come in from outside. Sorry for the inconvenience. Would you like to switch rooms? Yes, please. The smell is really bothering me. Let me first check if there are any rooms available. If it's possible, I'd like to move to a higher floor. Maybe higher than the fifth floor? Okay. Oh, we have one. Room 908 on the ninth floor is available. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. What's with the long face? Nothing. I'm perfectly fine. Come on. I've noticed you've seemed upset all afternoon at school. Is there something bothering you? Well, I just can't believe Mr. Park gave me a C- minus for English literature. Yeah, that seems low. Didn't you get a good grade on the midterm? Yeah, but I got a bad grade on my final paper. I got it back with a comment, poor source citation. I don't understand why Mr. Park took it so seriously. Uh-oh. It's bad to take someone else's ideas without citing their source. Mr. Park must be so angry about that. Really? Well, I was running out of time to finish the paper and thought skipping the source citation would be just okay. Actually, it's something you should never do. It's like stealing someone's idea. Oh, I didn't think like that. You should have been honest and told Mr. Park about your situation and asked him for more time. You're right. I feel so embarrassed now. What should I do? 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, I don't know what to do with our dog, Max. What's the problem? He just runs to the door and barks uncontrollably whenever the doorbell rings. Hmm. I think he just gets overly excited because he loves being around new people. Sure, but I've noticed that it makes some of our visitors uncomfortable. Good point. We should try to train him. How can we do that? How about calming him down when he barks at the doorbell and then rewarding him when he stops barking? What could we use as a reward? We can give him a dog biscuit. He loves biscuits more than anything. I hope that works, but I am still not sure about it. 3번 대화를 듣고 
남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, I'm here to repair your washing machine. Hi, it's in the laundry room over here. It suddenly stopped working last week. Did you get any error messages on the panel? Yeah, the message MX appeared. I wasn't sure what it meant. It means that there's a problem with the motor. I'll check it now. Okay. Do you think it's broken? Well, the motor is burnt out. I think it needs to be replaced, but I don't think it's easy to find a new motor for this model. You mean the motors for this model may not be available anymore? Right. When did you buy this one? I bought it when I got married 15 years ago. I see. Let me check if there is one in stock. Oh, there's one, but I wouldn't recommend you buy it because it costs quite a lot. 4번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. John, where are you going with that box? Hello, Ms. Adamson. I'm going out to throw this away. It's waste from my classroom. You transferred to our school last week, so I guess you might not know well about how to dispose of waste here. You're right. The recycling area is outside the back door of the school building. Thanks, Ms. Adamson. But hold on, John. Do you know how to separate out the recyclables? Well, not exactly. This is my first time taking out the recycling. You should throw plastics, cans, glass bottles into yellow boxes separately and non-recyclables into the big black trash can. Oh, I understand. Is there anything else I should know? Yes. Throw plastic waste with food on it into the black trash can. It's non-recyclable. 5번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Ava. What are you listening to on your smartphone? Hi, Dave. I'm listening to the radio. I usually spend a few hours a day listening to the radio. I didn't know that. Don't you think radio is a little too outdated? No, it may be old, but it's not outdated. It's evolved from the original format of radio. Right, but these days most people watch video clips or TV shows on their phones or computers, not to listen to the radio. Well, I read about a survey that showed radio is still really popular, sometimes more so than podcasts and TV. Oh, really? I wonder why people still love it. There are many reasons. Above all, it helps people fight loneliness. The act of listening can make them feel like they're part of an exchange. Hmm, that makes sense. There are those who actively join a conversation by calling in or sending emails to the radio station. 6번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Joe. You look a little stressed out. I am. Whenever I take online classes, after about an hour, I start having difficulty concentrating on them. I experience that too, so I try to get rid of anything around me that may distract me. Me too. I remove any distractions and even turn off my cell phone, but I still can't focus. I know what you mean. That doesn't always work. Then how about taking breaks when you study? How often and how long? Maybe once every hour for 10 minutes or so. Just set your alarm and then take a break and do some simple exercises. That's a good idea. I usually sit at my computer for hours. Maybe that's why I lose focus. Right. I'll send you a good five-minute exercise video I found on the Internet. It helped me increase my focus. 7번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Olivia, did you hear the news? An employee at the Midtown Wastewater Facility secretly dumped wastewater into the Wildwood River. 
Oh my gosh, I didn't hear about that. That's terrible. I know. He just did it to cut costs on getting rid of the wastewater. People are sometimes so selfish. Other animals aren't like humans. Right. Some humans can be the opposite of animals, such as ground squirrels. Why ground squirrels? Because they let other squirrels know about danger by giving a warning when a predator is nearby. Oh, and the warning makes the squirrel more noticeable, doesn't it? Yeah. So the squirrels who warn others are more likely to get attacked. Why do they choose to put their life at risk to save others? Scientists say it's just a natural drive to protect their species. 8번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Victor, what are you doing? I'm cleaning chicken. I'm making stew, Mom. Oh, you shouldn't do that. When you rinse chicken, water splashes everywhere, and that can cause food poisoning. What do you mean? Well, the water droplets can spread bacteria all over the place, like on the counter or around the kitchen sink. Oh, really? Yes. And if you touch it and get just a little bacteria in your mouth, it can cause pretty bad food poisoning. That sounds terrible. So, it's best to take the chicken out of the package and put it directly into the pot. But I'm worried it won't be clean. It'll be fine because it gets cooked. Just be sure to clean up the spot where you are handling raw chicken. 9번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Mary. What are you going to do after school? Hi, Daniel. I'm going to find some visual material for my science class presentation. What's the presentation topic? It's about AI and the fourth industrial revolution. I want to add realistic pictures of the products used in everyday life besides the information online. You've already checked the school library, right? Yes, I went there, but I couldn't find the pictures I was looking for. Well, that's too bad. Oh, when is your presentation? The 2022 AI Expo is at the Civic Center downtown this weekend, which exhibits many AI products. Really? The presentation is next Friday, so it sounds like the Expo could be helpful for my presentation. Yeah, they even allow you to take pictures of the exhibits. 10번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, where are you going? To my friend Mia's house to pick up her kids. You remember that we're taking care of them for the weekend, don't you? Of course. I thought you were picking them up later. So what do you think we should do with them? I was thinking of taking them to the observatory. That's cool. They'd really enjoy looking at all the stars. For sure. When should we go? How about tomorrow night? It's supposed to be a clear night. Sounds good. When do you plan on getting tickets? I was just thinking we could buy them there. I'm sure it's going to be busy tomorrow, so I think we should get our tickets in advance. Well, I don't have time to do that now because I have to go pick up Mia's kids. 11번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mom, did I get a package delivered today? No, you didn't. What did you order? A book for my physics class. I need it for the first day of class next Monday. When did you order it? I ordered it last week, so it should have arrived by now. Are you sure you didn't order it to our old address? It hasn't been long since we moved into this house. I don't think so. Check the website where you ordered the book. Okay. Oh, no. I added the new address in my profile, but I didn't select it when I ordered. Oh, dear. The book must have been delivered to our old house. Do you want me to check with the people living there? That'd be great. If they have it, I'll go pick it up. Do you have their phone number?
12번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mr. Keston, can I come in? Oh, hi, Sally. Sure. Come in and have a seat. Thank you. I have something I want to discuss with you. Okay, what is it? As you know, I've been playing the cello for a long time. Yeah, I know. You want to be a professional cellist, don't you? Not really. Actually, I'm more into politics. I want to major in political science. Oh, I didn't know that. Is there a particular reason why you want to study in that field? Well, I've always been interested in politics, and last winter I read several books on politics, which really impacted me. I see. You've always been good at resolving conflicts. I'm sure you'll be good at politics. Thanks for saying so, but I'm worried because it's not the field I've been studying. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 매건이 필립에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Philip goes to a bookstore to buy a recently published book titled The Psychology of Everyday Affairs. While Philip is looking for the book, he happens to see an advertisement poster on the wall. It says that if people sign up for a membership, they can get a 10% discount on the books. At the counter, he meets Megan, who works at the bookstore. He tells her that he wants to become a bookstore member to get a discount on the book. However, Megan knows that the membership discount is only for books that were published more than a year ago. Even though Megan doesn't want to disappoint Philip, she has to tell him that he cannot get the discount on the book he wants to buy. In this situation, what would Megan most likely say to Philip? 1번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 미스터 오웬스가 린에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Lynn is on her school's girls' soccer team, and Mr. Owens is the team's coach. Lynn is the best goal scorer on the team. After the regular season, they advance to the final. Lynn is determined to score the winning goal for her team. In the first half of the game, there are many situations where Lynn tries too hard to score on her own instead of passing the ball to teammates who are in better positions to score. When the first half ends, The score is 0-0. During halftime, Mr. Owens wants to advise Lynn to pass more rather than trying to score by herself. In this situation, what would Mr. Owens most likely say to Lynn? 2번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 미즈 와이트가 야영객에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ms. White has worked as a national park manager for a long time. Recently, as many people have become interested in camping, the number of visitors to the park has increased, so she has more work to do. She believes that it's a good thing that more people are enjoying nature, but she's worried because there are more and more people not following the park rules. One day, while driving around the park, Ms. White sees a camper trying to make a fire, which is against the park rules. So, she wants to inform the camper of the rules. In this situation, what would Ms. White most likely say to the camper? 3번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고, 케빈이 리사에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kevin is working part-time at a small cafe. One day, one of his friends, Lisa, comes to the cafe as a customer. She tells Kevin she's going to study at the cafe. After she orders and gets her coffee, she sits down at a table and starts to study. A few minutes later, her phone rings and she starts to have a phone conversation. During the conversation, she starts talking louder, which begins to bother the other customers in the cafe. Kevin notices that some customers start looking at Lisa, annoyed. So, Kevin wants to kindly tell Lisa to speak more quietly on the phone. In this situation, what would Kevin most likely say to Lisa? 4번 
다음 상황 설명을 듣고 미즈 파커가 탐에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ms. Parker is Tom's homeroom teacher. She is worried about Tom because he's always late for school in the morning. She has a talk with Tom and finds out he has a problem waking up early in the morning. Even though he uses his smartphone as an alarm clock, he always turns it off and falls right back asleep. Ms. Parker asks Tom when he usually goes to sleep, and he says he stays up playing computer games late at night until 1 a.m. Ms. Parker thinks that's the problem. She thinks that since Tom is going to bed too late at night, he has trouble waking up early. So, she wants to tell Tom that he should go to bed earlier than now to get up earlier the next morning. In this situation, what would Ms. Parker most likely say to Tom? 5번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 매튜가 신디에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Matthew and Cindy work in the same department at an electronics company. Today, they have a lot of work to do to prepare for a promotional event tomorrow. They end up working overtime until late and are finally ready to go back home around 10 p.m. Cindy is going to drive home and she is aware that Matthew will take the subway back home. So, Cindy offers Matthew a ride to his home, which is about a 20-minute drive from her place. But, Matthew doesn't want to bother Cindy because he knows that she is tired. So, he wants to tell Cindy that although he appreciates her offer, he'd like to take the subway instead. In this situation, what would Matthew most likely say to Cindy? 6번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 나오미가 윌리엄에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Naomi is a high school student. Nowadays, she feels physically weaker overall. She often feels tired and can't concentrate on her schoolwork. One day, she tells one of her close friends, William, about her concern. After hearing this, William advises her to exercise regularly to stay healthy. Naomi agrees with him and decides to go jogging every day in the playground during lunchtime. She also thinks that it will be better if William jogs with her for his health, too. So, Naomi wants to suggest to William that he join her daily workout. In this situation, what would Naomi most likely say to William? 1번부터 2번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 1번과 2번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good morning, students. You might think that math is all about boring formulas, but actually it involves much more. Today, we'll learn how mathematics is used in the arts. First, let's take music. Early mathematicians found that dividing or multiplying sound frequencies created different musical notes. Many musicians started applying this mathematical concept to make harmonized sounds. Second, painting frequently uses math concepts, particularly the golden ratio. Using this, great painters created masterpieces that display accurate proportions. The Mona Lisa is well known for its accurate proportionality. Photography is another example of using mathematical ideas. Photographers divide their frames into three by three sections and place their subjects along the lines. By doing so, the photo becomes balanced, thus more pleasing. Lastly, dance applies mathematics to position dancers on the stage. In ballet, dancers calculate distances between themselves and other dancers and adjust to the size of the stage. This gives the impression of harmonious movement. I hope you've gained a new perspective on mathematics. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good morning, students. You might think that math is all about boring formulas, but actually it involves much more. Today, we'll learn how mathematics is used in the arts. First, let's take music. Early mathematicians found that dividing or multiplying sound frequencies created different musical notes. Many musicians started applying this mathematical concept 
to make harmonized sounds. Second, painting frequently uses math concepts, particularly the golden ratio. Using this, great painters created masterpieces that display accurate proportions. The Mona Lisa is well known for its accurate proportionality. Photography is another example of using mathematical ideas. Photographers divide their frames into three by three sections and place their subjects along the lines. By doing so, the photo becomes balanced, thus more pleasing. Lastly, dance applies mathematics to position dancers on the stage. In ballet, Dancers calculate distances between themselves and other dancers and adjust to the size of the stage. This gives the impression of harmonious movement. I hope you've gained a new perspective on mathematics. 1번 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 2번 언급된 예술 분야가 아닌 것은? 1번부터 2번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 1번과 2번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my sweet home channel. Whether you're building a new house or just remodeling your roof, finding the right type of roof covering is essential. Here's a brief overview of the most common types of roofing materials. For a long time, clay tiles have been a traditional roofing material for homes. While the initial cost can be high, it's still considered a cost-effective choice in the long term. An asphalt roof is also popular since it's very economical and easy to install. It comes in a range of colors and sizes that can easily suit most roof designs. And a lead roof has been equally popular with homeowners. It has been used for hundreds of years due to its long life and flexibility. There's also steel roofing, which can be used in most weather environments since it's among the hardest metal options. It's also the least expensive compared to other metals. Now, let's take a look at some pictures of various types of roofs. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hi everyone, welcome back to my sweet home channel. Whether you're building a new house or just remodeling your roof, Finding the right type of roof covering is essential. Here's a brief overview of the most common types of roofing materials. For a long time, clay tiles have been a traditional roofing material for homes. While the initial cost can be high, it's still considered a cost-effective choice in the long term. An asphalt roof is also popular since it's very economical and easy to install. It comes in a range of colors and sizes that can easily suit most roof designs. And a lead roof has been equally popular with homeowners. It has been used for hundreds of years due to its long life and flexibility. There's also steel roofing, which can be used in most weather environments since it's among the hardest metal options. It's also the least expensive compared to other metals. Now, let's take a look at some pictures of various types of roofs. 1번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 2번. 언급된 재료가 아닌 것은? 3번부터 4번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 3번과 4번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, listeners. Welcome to the Balanced Life Podcast. Today, I'd like to introduce some of my favorite things to do when feeling down because of stress from work. If you're busy working nonstop, then you may feel tired and underappreciated. So why not reward yourself? You're worth it. It'll boost your spirits, making you feel good and ultimately lowering your work stress. Here are some things you can do to treat yourself. First, go and see a movie by yourself. There's something relaxing and peaceful about seeing a film without anybody else. Second, buy your favorite ice cream on your way home from work and spend time enjoying it while watching TV. 
Third, buy yourself a new outfit or at least a new accessory. If you are on a tight budget, visit charity shops or hold a clothes swapping event with friends. Lastly, you can also forget all the stresses of work by going to the hairdresser. Rewards don't have to be expensive or time consuming. Even the smallest treat will help you feel better. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, listeners. Welcome to the Balanced Life Podcast. Today, I'd like to introduce some of my favorite things to do when feeling down because of stress from work. If you're busy working nonstop, then you may feel tired and underappreciated. So why not reward yourself? You're worth it. It'll boost your spirits, making you feel good and ultimately lowering your work stress. Here are some things you can do to treat yourself. First, go and see a movie by yourself. There's something relaxing and peaceful about seeing a film without anybody else. Second, buy your favorite ice cream on your way home from work and spend time enjoying it while watching TV. Third, buy yourself a new outfit or at least a new accessory. If you are on a tight budget, visit charity shops or hold a clothes swapping event with friends. Lastly, you can also forget all the stresses of work by going to the hairdresser. Rewards don't have to be expensive or time consuming. Even the smallest treat will help you feel better. 3번. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 4번. 언급된 일이 아닌 것은? 5번부터 6번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 5번과 6번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello everyone. Fresh vegetables are an important part of our diet. Some people prefer to eat them raw, but cooking vegetables can enhance their flavors. Here are some ways. First, boiling is a good, easy way. For example, for broccoli, just cut it into bite-sized pieces, add them to a pot of boiling water, and let them cook for a few minutes. You can cook potatoes this way too. Just place them in cold water and slowly bring the water to a boil. Another way to cook vegetables is steaming. It's a good way to cook asparagus. Just chop it up into short pieces. Add one inch of water to a pot, heat it, and once it starts boiling, add the vegetable on a steam tray and put on the lid. Let it steam for five to six minutes. In the case of peas, steam them for three minutes. Lastly, roasting vegetables means cooking them at high heat for a longer period of time. Carrots cooked this way taste wonderful. For the best results, cook them at 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Toss them in a bit of oil and season them with herbs and spices. Then, roast them until tender on the inside and crispy on the outside. Now, let's watch a video about these methods. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, everyone. Fresh vegetables are an important part of our diet. Some people prefer to eat them raw, but cooking vegetables can enhance their flavors. Here are some ways. First, boiling is a good, easy way. For example, for broccoli, just cut it into bite-sized pieces, add them to a pot of boiling water, and let them cook for a few minutes. You can cook potatoes this way too. Just place them in cold water and slowly bring the water to a boil. Another way to cook vegetables is steaming. It's a good way to cook asparagus. Just chop it up into short pieces. Add one inch of water to a pot, heat it, and once it starts boiling, add the vegetable on a steam tray and put on the lid. Let it steam for five to six minutes. In the case of peas, steam them for three minutes. Lastly, roasting vegetables means cooking them at high heat for a longer period of time. Carrots cooked this way taste wonderful. For the best results, cook them at 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Toss them in a bit of oil and season them with herbs and spices. Then, roast them until tender on the inside and crispy on the outside. Now, 
Let's watch a video about these methods. 5번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 6번. 언급된 채소가 아닌 것은? 7번부터 8번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 7번과 8번, 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Good morning, Middleton High School students. I'm Brittany Craig, organizer of the 2022 Middleton Science Fair. As announced, the 2022 fair will be held on Saturday, October 15th. It's one of the largest high school science fairs in the region, with a lot of students participating every year. We are always in need of volunteers for a variety of tasks, so please help out if you can. First of all, you can help participants as mentors, teaching them how to talk to people at their booth. You can also volunteer as registration staff. You'll help check in participants, direct people, and provide general support. And if you have a science background, we need judges to help us. You'll review, score, judge, and provide good feedback on participants' projects. Also, we need fair hosts to welcome visitors and participants to the fair and provide simple information. If anything interests you or if you have any questions, please call or email us. Contact information is on the Middleton Science Fair website. Thank you for listening. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good morning, Middleton High School students. I'm Brittany Kreck, organizer of the 2022 Middleton Science Fair. As announced, the 2022 fair will be held on Saturday, October 15th. It's one of the largest high school science fairs in the region, with a lot of students participating every year. We are always in need of volunteers for a variety of tasks, so please help out if you can. First of all, you can help participants as mentors, teaching them how to talk to people at their booth. You can also volunteer as registration staff. You'll help check in participants, direct people, and provide general support. And if you have a science background, we need judges to help us. You'll review, score, judge, and provide good feedback on participants' projects. Also, we need fair hosts to welcome visitors and participants to the fair and provide simple information. If anything interests you or if you have any questions, please call or email us. Contact information is on the Middleton Science Fair website. Thank you for listening. 7번 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것은? 8번 언급된 역할이 아닌 것은? 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, this is JNM Printing Solutions. I sent you the revised draft of your company's flyer. Yes, I just checked your email and I was about to call you. Is there any problem? I revised all the parts you wanted me to change. 2번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Cindy, are you okay? You look so exhausted. It's because I haven't been getting much sleep recently. I've been staying up late to work on an important work project due next week. I'm worried. It's really important to get enough sleep. I know, but I have no choice. There's so much to do for the project. I need to get it done. But when you're so physically exhausted, you're not good at working efficiently. That's true. Lately, I've been finding myself working for hours and not getting anything done. See? You need your sleep. It'll help you be more productive when you work. You're right. And the quality of work time is more important than the quantity. Exactly. Not getting the right amount of sleep can make daily functioning harder. 3번 
대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Emma, I heard that new members joined the table tennis club. Right. We've got two new members. That's good. Are they participating in the tournament next month? Yes. They're going to enter the doubles tournament. I'm going to coach them. Great. They'll need time to get used to playing as a team. Right. But it's going to be a big challenge because they are total beginners. Hmm. I can help them. When do you practice? Thanks. We're starting tomorrow at 6 p.m. We're going to have practice every weekday from 6 to 8. Oh, I can only join you twice a week because of my part-time job. I see. Then why don't you give them your feedback after watching their practice videos? They'll upload their practice videos on our club blog. 4번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 데니스가 비앙카에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Dennis and Bianca are best friends and co-workers. Over the past month, Bianca has often worked overtime preparing for the company's new product launch. Last night, Bianca was admitted to the hospital because of a sudden stomach problem. She had some tests and is now waiting for the results in the hospital. She's worried and hopes there's nothing serious. After hearing that Bianca's hospitalized, Dennis goes to visit her. She's normally positive and full of energy, but now she seems uncomfortable and concerned. Dennis wants to comfort her and let her know that she'll get better soon. In this situation, what would Dennis most likely say to Bianca? 5번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 에이미가 벤에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Ben is a hairdresser at a local hair salon. One day, Amy, one of his regular customers, comes to the hair salon to have her hair done. Ben asks Amy what type of hairstyle she'd like. Since Amy has been Ben's customer for several years, she believes Ben will do a good job with her hair. So, Amy tells Ben to just do whatever he thinks would look good on her. Ben says okay and starts to cut her hair. After some time, Ben says his work is done and asks Amy how she feels. Amy realizes her hair is shorter than she expected, but she likes it. Amy wants to tell Ben that he did a nice job with her hair and that she likes her new hairstyle. In this situation, what would Amy most likely say to Ben? 6번부터 7번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 6번과 7번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, everyone. Last class, we learned about green foods. Today, let's talk about black-colored foods. For most of you, black may not be associated with good-tasting food. Nevertheless, research suggests that some black foods have numerous health benefits. Here are some examples. First, let's look at black beans. High in protein and extremely tasty, black beans have anti-cancer properties and help control blood sugar. Black rice is also a good source of protein and fiber. It sends toxins out of the body, improves heart health, and helps digestion. Another example is black garlic. It may look frightening, but this aged version of garlic actually has been shown to reduce bad cholesterol levels and increase disease protection. The last example is black mushrooms. They contain natural substances that can help prevent aging and cancer. If you think of any other black foods, bring them to class. Thanks. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, everyone. Last class, we learned about green foods. Today, let's talk about black-colored foods. For most of you, black may not be associated with good-tasting food. Nevertheless, research suggests that some black foods have numerous health benefits. Here are some examples. First, let's look at black beans. 
High in protein and extremely tasty, black beans have anti-cancer properties and help control blood sugar. Black rice is also a good source of protein and fiber. It sends toxins out of the body, improves heart health, and helps digestion. Another example is black garlic. It may look frightening, but this aged version of garlic actually has been shown to reduce bad cholesterol levels and increase disease protection. The last example is black mushrooms. They contain natural substances that can help prevent aging and cancer. If you think of any other black foods, bring them to class. Thanks. 6. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 7. 언급된 식품이 아닌 것은? 8번부터 9번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 8번과 9번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. Irrespective of what color you like, everyone will agree that colors play a vital role in our lives and affect the way we feel. They also carry deep cultural meanings, and the symbolism of colors varies depending on the country. For instance, in the United States, green means wealth, which is represented by the color of the dollar. On the other hand, in Mexico, green represents freedom and independence. After gaining its freedom in the 19th century, Mexico chose to display green in its flag to represent independence. The same is true for yellow. In France, yellow signifies jealousy, betrayal, weakness, and contradiction. In the 10th century, the French painted the doors of criminals yellow. But the people of Egypt closely associate yellow with gold, which was commonly used to paint mummies before the dead were sent to the afterlife, making it a symbol for mourning. As shown in these examples, knowing the different meanings of colors is an important key to understanding how people from different countries feel and behave. Next, let's look at some proverbs related to color. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. Irrespective of what color you like, everyone will agree that colors play a vital role in our lives and affect the way we feel. They also carry deep cultural meanings, and the symbolism of colors varies depending on the country. For instance, in the United States, green means wealth, which is represented by the color of the dollar. On the other hand, in Mexico, green represents freedom and independence. After gaining its freedom in the 19th century, Mexico chose to display green in its flag to represent independence. The same is true for yellow. In France, yellow signifies jealousy, betrayal, weakness, and contradiction. In the 10th century, the French painted the doors of criminals yellow. But the people of Egypt closely associate yellow with gold, which was commonly used to paint mummies before the dead were sent to the afterlife, making it a symbol for mourning. As shown in these examples, knowing the different meanings of colors is an important key to understanding how people from different countries feel and behave. Next, let's look at some proverbs related to color. 8번 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 9번 언급된 나라가 아닌 것은?